Are you considering doing another ultra anytime soon? Hey guys, it's Lucy. Come on in, take a seat. It's going to be a runner's Q&A today. A couple weeks ago now, I sent a community post out asking if anyone had any questions for a Q&A video that I'm going to be filming. I haven't done one of these in so long i thought you know it's about time we did another q a <laughs> but before i get into the questions if you are new to my channel hi my name is lucy and i've been on a running and weight loss journey since february 2020 now i started that journey weighing 230 pounds and i couldn't run for more than 30 seconds i looked online to try and find someone who i could relate with who was open and honest about their journey had started from where i had started and managed to get themselves into a position where they could be running long distance. I needed to see someone else do it so I knew it was possible for me to get it done. Unfortunately I couldn't find that honest relatable runner at the time but to cut a long story short I've lost a lot of weight. I've ran a lot of miles so I've now decided to become that YouTuber that I needed to see way back then and also that I still do need to see to be honest. <laughs> so hit the subscribe button if you need a virtual running buddy and let's get into some of the questions that you guys ask. How long does it take you to wear out a pair of running shoes? How quickly does your husband go through them? What have your favourite ones been so far? Do you feel like you found your magic pair yet? How long does it take me to wear out my running shoes? So it varies. It depends on how often I'm running. With my trainers, I do feel like I can just tell when they need replacing. I don't have a solid rule that I stick to. Some people after a certain amount of miles they'll get rid of them or after a certain amount of time they'll get rid of them but for me personally i don't want to spend money on trainers when i don't have to so i've kind of over time learn when a trainer is done with i have a very loose rule that they generally last around five months or about 400 miles of course i don't stick to that like law <laughs> i just have that rough idea in my head that that's generally how they've lasted in the past it also depends on what trainer it is now i have a pair of alpha flies that i've had for a long time and the reason i've had them for so long is because i don't use them all the time i only use them sporadically as and when so they're gonna last me a lot longer than my hoka clifton nines which i'm currently running in i haven't had them as long as i've had my alpha flies but I run in them a lot more. They are my main trainer that I will run in. They actually are probably overdue replacing. I do feel like the last month or so, I have felt like they probably are due to be replaced. My husband is kind of in the same boat. We have different types of trainers. So we have like our trainers that we do our quicker runs in like our alpha flies or we have our trail shoes and we have our road shoes. His road shoes and my road shoes, they are constantly the ones that are getting replaced the most. We're kind of on the same page. We, we Our trainers kind of last about the same as each other. We generally are due to have new trainers about the same time, <laughs> normally. I don't feel like I have found the magic pair yet. Although the Alpha Flies did feel a little bit mythical <laughs> when i first had them they are really really fun to have my favorite pair so far is probably going to be my hoka clifton nine trainers they've been really really good yeah i think my hoka clifton nines have been my favorite pair so far did you start with interval running at first like one minute running two minute walking or did you just start running full out I walk every day but trying to break into running. I have a video, I'm gonna link it at the top and I think I'll link it in the description as well if you wanna have a look at that video. I explain in detail how I started. I did not start running full out. I, I wasn't capable of it. My body was not physically able to just start running full out nonstop. Um, and I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be the case for quite a lot of people out there let's be honest i definitely did intervals and i could only do intervals for a long time as well it, it took me a long time to be able to not have to do intervals <laughs> have you ever done a half marathon or are you considering one i've done quite a few half marathons now i'm really proud to, to say i actually filmed one very recently i will link that as well i'll be linking above and i'll try and link it below as well half marathon was 
one of the biggest achievements at the time that running my first half marathon i ran it with matt just us two around the local area it wasn't an event or anything and i felt comfortable to do that with him and it was such such an achievement so hard but yeah i i i, I love a half marathon distance i think it's it's it, you just feel so great when it's done and you feel like you've really really achieved something okay this is a long one but i will answer every single piece individually it says what is it like to run a marathon what happens before the start what's the process from the decision to run it to actually running it what happens if you can't finish it how do you get to the finish line where i guess they take your things before the race okay let's get into this <laughs> what is it like to run a marathon tough <laughs> insane but the most amazing experience when it's over <laughs> is incredible if you ever feel like you have a desire to run a marathon tune into that and i would advise you to at least do it once in your life you're gonna learn so much about yourself in those 26.2 miles what happens before the start so before the start i'm assuming this is for an event so before the start of the marathon you would arrive at the time that they allocate you for a bib number unless it's been posted to you it might be a big event and they post them out you register so you let them know you're there you give them your name they give you your bib number take some pins just in case but nine times out of ten the races i've been to they've always had pins so oh. <laughs> you pin it on make sure you've got everything you need ready i'm usually faffing around by the car sometimes there are bad stations so if you are finishing in a different place to where you're starting then they have a bag drop so you can put whatever you need in the start change your clothes whatever it is that you need or things that you're going to need in the start that you don't want to run with so maybe you've got a coat or something you can put that in there, collect that at the end. They give you a token or something to keep hold of. And then obviously after the race, you pick that up. What's the process from the decision to run it to actually running it? So I'm assuming that your decision to run it, you've already picked which one you're going to do. You book it, pay for it. Depending on how long you've got and what stage you are with your running, I mean, it can vary completely for, for everyone. You then start your training plan. And then obviously during your training plan, you've got lots of things to think about. You, you might need to add distance to your run. You might to, need to practice eating or practice what you prefer to stay hydrated with use different gels if it's your very first marathon then i would suggest trying out as many different things as you can and see what works for you because everyone is different what works for my husband doesn't work for me for example and i had to practice everything myself to see what worked for me what happens if you can't finish um in the marathon if you can't finish generally marathons they will have like um marshals or stewards along the route or there'll be checkpoints well maybe not checkpoints but like water stands if you can't finish you just need to let one of them know one of the marshals or a staff member know and they can help you out and they'll they'll have their own process yeah you just got to let them know and they'll have their own process of what they do if they if a runner can't finish and there is always um well i said there is always every marathon i've ever done there's always been a medical person available at some point in the race how do you get to the finish line where i guess they take your things before the race yeah they will all have their own process they, they, you'll probably get picked up and taken to the finish line if you can't finish it so it won't be a problem at all there will be something in place so you don't have to worry if you don't feel like you can finish you will either have a number to ring you'll either have someone with you or you can drop out at a water station there's no need to panic there will be a process are you considering doing another ultra anytime soon um <laughs> i have spoke about another ultra yes <laughs> i have something in mind i'm not gonna tell you what it is i've been looking through some races with matt um there is an ultra coming up and i think i can work the logistics out for it and if it all goes ahead i will let you know but that's as much as i'm gonna say so am i considering another ultra anytime soon yes <laughs> How did you know you were ready to start training for a marathon back before your first one? How long did you give yourself to train? How did I know I was ready? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. And I was naive. And I just thought, how amazing would it be 
if I could run a marathon. I ran a 10K race, it was my second 10K race, and I skipped half marathon, and I just went ahead and booked a marathon. <laughs> And I was just naive. And to be honest, that's a good thing. Ignorance, it truly is bliss when it comes to marathons. It took me so long to run my second one because I knew how tough that first one was. I can't remember how long it took me to train. It took me most of the year. But to be honest, that whole time, the whole way before I started Manchester Marathon, I didn't feel ready at any point if you are thinking about running a marathon i would definitely suggest it i would definitely say yes do it it was the best thing i've done it was amazing and at no point did i feel ready so if that's you right now that's normal it's okay to not feel like you're ready even if you've booked and paid for it <laughs> and you've been training for ages and it's like a few weeks to come and you don't feel ready i didn't feel ready i feel like i would never have felt ready even if I've just done my first one this year. I probably still would have felt like oh, I'm not ready for it. So get it done, bite the bullet and do it scared. If you could enter any running event slash race in the world and get a guaranteed place, which one would you pick and why? Oh, I really like this question. Um, there's two that I would absolutely love to do, but I I know my answer. If I could do any around the world, be guaranteed to have a place. It's it's got to be, for me, London Marathon. I've seen London Marathon on the telly throughout the years growing up. And even when I was at my heaviest, I obviously knew about London Marathon. And obviously I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would ever be able to complete any distance of running, let alone a marathon. So the fact that I can now physically run a marathon and I could potentially be there running a massive race that I've known about my whole life I definitely it's def definitely got to be London Marathon for me personally a close second is New York Marathon I think that would be phenomenal I went to New York hey last year that was nearly a year ago now which was crazy I have a run with me around New York I will link it as well did all of the touristy bits and I saw lots of um, things about the history of New York Marathon and it just looks amazing it looks incredible so yeah New York Marathon second but if I could do any it, it would be London I am sorry if I didn't get to your question I haven't answered every single one but I'm sure I will be doing another Q&A video at some point soon. In the meantime, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Hit the subscribe button if you need a virtual running buddy. And I want to thank every single one of you who asked the question. You guys are the best. And I will see you guys soon for some more updates. Bye guys.